What's going on, sweet gang? It's your girl, Ro. Coming to you with a live video. This one is live and lit because in this video, I am going over the apple recipe with you all. And to all my subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you give this uh, video a thumbs up once it's done. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comment in the comment section, and I'm not gonna hold you no longer because we about to get into the video. So, what I have is my Granny Smith apples already clean. I have my Chef Master's liquid um, gel food coloring. I have neon bright pink and this is by chef masters as well and i have four cups of granulated sugar and one cup of water even though they separated this is one cup and i have one cup of light carol syrup okay we're gonna get started and i'm getting ready to give you life so what I want to do in my medium pot here, we're going to go ahead and add the water. That's one cup. And we're going to go ahead and add the four cups of sugar. And we're going to go ahead and add the carol syrup one cup okay taking your 400 degree spoon meaning this spoon um, can stand heat um, you don't want to put a wooden spoon in this candy mixture because you will it'll break off in the candy mixture then you have wood all in your mix and you don't want that so make sure you have a spoon that can hold heat up to 400 degrees um, for this candy mixture now after I have added all my ingredients I want to mix well and in this video I'm going to add the color at the end okay so as I mix equally combining the sugar the syrup and the water once I have that equally combined go ahead and turn your stove to medium high heat then you want to add your candy thermometer when adding your candy thermometer, make sure you put your candy thermometer and clip it if it's um, not digital. Clip it on the side of your pot. You don't want the tip of your thermometer to touch the bottom of the pot because the pot is what um, gets hot first. So keep that in mind. The tip does not touch the bottom of the pot you want to have your mix go to 300 degrees you want to remove it at 300 degrees and I'm also going to come back to you showing you um, at what temperature I am going to add the flavor so be right back so in this portion of the video I'm going to go ahead and add the candy thermometer and at 300 degrees for this recipe it is going to come off at the hard rock stage okay so adding the clip to the side of the pot even though this is a bigger pot I'm gonna pull the clip up and insert it to where it will be just in enough right at the tip of the mixture tip top of the mixture okay when it gets to cooking the um, 
mixture will rise up but you want to keep an eye on this candy mixture. This, this recipe, this um, tutorial is going to teach you how to get the bubble free. And everybody always asks, um, I get bubbles in my apples. Well, the main source to make sure, the main thing to do to make sure that you, um, to achieve the bubble free is to clean the wax completely off your apples completely off your apples so that's part of the process of having bubble free apples so as we have our candy mixture um, cook up to 250 I will be back to show you how I add the flavor alright sweet peeps we are at 250 degrees and at 250 degrees, I am going to add my food coloring. I'm sorry, my flavoring, which is by Lorraine Oils. And what I'll be adding, let's see if you guys can see that okay. Mm, it's called Cake Batter, and it's by Lorraine Oils. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see. This is Laurent Oil's cake batter flavor. And it's one dram full of flavoring. But with this recipe, I'm only going to add four to five drops of uh, flavor. So, some people add a full bottle. I don't require that you add a full bottle because this is very potent. It all depends. And it's really um, up to you. But in this recipe, I'm adding four to five drops. Okay. Once it has reached to 300, I will come back to you with the coloring. Also, I want to mention before... I bleep out <laughs> when adding some of your food coloring to certain mixtures it will bubble up but in this video I am adding my color at the end and as you see the um, the texture of the mixture have changed so now we're gonna wait till it reaches 300 degrees and remove it from the eye all right all right sweet peeps we are back and due to the time of the video um, it is edited and it is broke down because the actual time to cook um, your mixture is longer than what you're viewing on um, this channel so please keep that in mind it now is reaching 300 degrees so I'm going to go ahead and remove my mixture. You're going to see that your mixture begins to turn brown and that's fine. If it gets too dark, your mixture is burned. I removed it from 300 degrees. Please, I, I, I tell you all. Uh, do remove it at the time that it's supposed to be removed. Going past that, it'll burn quickly. So please remove at 300 degrees for this particular recipe. I'm going to go ahead and add my Chef Master's White. Adding a few drops in there. And I'm going to go ahead and add my and pot hot my um, neon bright pink shaking it up adding a few few drops so I'm gonna add four four drops mixing it and remember you don't want to wait too long 
to dip. Now looking at my mixture, I, it's not all the way pink, so I added four drops. So what I'm going to do, because it looks transparent, and I know a lot of you have a hard time getting the color that you want to achieve, and this is okay to do, add more more drops so that was about three more drops okay and no I didn't add no more white I believe I have enough white in there and if it still looks transparent it's okay to add a few more drops of white and this is why I like adding my color at the end just a few more drops. Mixing it well till all the white is completely gone. Okay? You don't want to spend too much time on mixing. Um, because remember, this will harden up. It will thicken up. Okay, so that's the color. Now you want to let the bubbles settle before you dip. If you dip and you still have bubbles in your mixture, then you will have bubbles on your apple. Okay, so I just want this to settle a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. All right, holding your stick. Remember, this is your straw. Your stick only comes so far. So you want to get a good grip here. Okay, I done re-wiped my apples. And I know it's a few bubbles in here, but going towards the bottom, but not touching, so that you do a rotating turn to completely cover your apple. Okay. And let the extra fall off. And I like to scrape my bottom on the side of the pot. You may find people that don't do that, but I do. And it's okay to do. And properly sitting it down. Grabbing your mixture again with your apple. It's a big old bubble right there. But I'm going to come down here rotating and coming up. I try not to get it on the straw as much as I can. But that's why it's good to have a bigger pot where you can have room to work with your apples, especially when they're bigger size. Okay. Scraping the bottom of the pot. And placing it neatly so you can have it finished bottom. Okay. You want to wait for it to dry and cool off. Okay. This one is about ready. I'm going to let it sit because it's not all the way settled. Turn it off your stove. Okay. When you're done with your apples, never sit them by your stove. They will break down. The candy will break down from the humidity and the heat. Um when is it okay to bag your apples you can actually bag these right after you dip them but leave your bag open so that you, so your candy won't break down it, it, it's okay to bag them right after you dip 
okay this one ain't all the way dry but I just wanted to show you guys that shine and that perfect bottom completely covered okay keep in mind every mixture you may is not going to be perfect so i want to put that side note out there but we have dipped and if you enjoyed this video and i didn't gave you life on these pink neon apples give it a thumbs up you guys if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button you don't want to miss what's coming next so to the loo and look forward to you in the next video bye bye